All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how the late turn in allowed option impacts the assignments that you create. So we've created a couple of different assignments here. Um, one is just titled that late work is allowed and the other one is late work is not allowed. I've gone ahead as a student and already completed these assignments. So we're gonna take a quick look at what's happening before the due date is actually up or the due time is actually up. So we'll start with the one where the late work is going to be allowed. Now, you'll notice here that I've already created this assignment, I'm in the teacher view. And so if we switch over here to where the late work is allowed option and we review that work, during the time where it's still an open assignment, you'll see it's not due until six o'clock tonight, I can actually look and see that this student has turned it in. And when I click on that assignment, I could actually go ahead and grade it, I could give it feedback, I could do whatever I wanted to do with it here and actually return it before it was officially due. But I also, as a student, have that option to be able to pull it back and basically re-edit it if I wanted to. What's nice though is from the teacher standpoint, you can still see those changes as they're working on it. And so you can choose whether or not you want to provide feedback even during this time before it's officially due, or you could wait and give all your feedback and do your grading until after it's the official deadline is, has passed. Now as I switch back over here to the student view, I can click on this assignment and notice I haven't turned, I haven't done the undo turn in option yet. I can just click on it and then I get the option to edit in Word. So it's going to force me right now if I do it this way to edit in the desktop version of it. So I've got that actually opened up already and I type in something like this is my new information. It has the auto save option going right now. As soon as it says it's saved to SharePoint, I can close that. And now that assignment change will actually show up here. I'm going to refresh my browser window and go back into that assignment as a student. And I can see that I can still edit it. Now, I also have the option over here to make that a little bit cleaner and easier. I can just click on this undo turn in feature. So remember right now we're still in that window where we are not past due. So it doesn't matter if I'm looking at the one where I've allowed that or I haven't allowed that. This process is gonna look the same for each of those assignments. But I have this option here to also just say undo turn in. And then now at this point when I click on this, I get the option of continuing to edit that here instead and making the process simpler. Because now I can just wait until it says saved right here within this Teams window. And once it does, I can just close this and then I can go back to turn it in. Now I'm gonna leave this unturned in right now and we know we've just made some changes and we're gonna look back at the teacher side of it. So we're back in the teacher side, we're reviewing this work for this student and I'm going to refresh this window at this point and take a look back at the assignment. I can see it's not turned in anymore, but if I click on it, I can still see this new information. So what I really like about the Teams assignment feature is that I do have that ability as a teacher to be looking in on their progress at any given time. And when I created this assignment, I just created a new blank file and I gave that to them. So that's one of the advantages to this is that once you've created that file for them, you're gonna be able to see their progress throughout the time that they're working on it. If it's one that they're working on somewhere else and they're gonna to wait to upload that into the assignment, you wouldn't be able to do that. But I did create this one where I attached that blank document that I told them I wanted to work on once they opened up the assignment feature. So that's what it looks like when they're working on a document before the official deadline for the document. I'm gonna pause this video and here in a few minutes I'm gonna come back and we're gonna look at each of these as it would appear after the deadline so that you can see the difference and what's gonna happen as they interact with these assignments. Okay, now we're past the deadline for our two assignments that we're looking at and we're gonna see what that looks like from a student's standpoint and what it looks like from the teacher standpoint. We're on the one where the late work is allowed. So again, on this assignment, they are able to go back in and turn in late work. We're on the teacher end of things right now and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I can see that it's turned in. And just like I would expect, I can tell that the due date was up here, I can see when the work was turned in and I can interact with the grading of this assignment just as I always have been able to. We'll look at the one with the late work not allowed 
Same concept, we see that it's been turned in, we click on it, and we can interact with grading this just like we would fully expect to be able to do again. Now let's switch over to the student standpoint. So on the student end of it now, let's look at the one where the late work is allowed. So if I click on it, I still, even though I'm past the deadline, have this undo turn in option. And if I click on it, it changes this button here to say turn in late. And if I go back here to my assignment list, I can see that this assignment is now past due. So from the student standpoint, once they click that button to undo that turn in, they're gonna get those messages that let you know that your assignment is now late. And if we look at it from the teacher standpoint, we can come back here, click on the late work is allowed assignment, and we'll see that this is now switched and not turned in. But because the teacher knows that they're allowing that, it wouldn't be a big problem. They can still let the student interact with it, turn it in, and do everything else that they were expecting to do. That process isn't really gonna change for the student. When they're clicking on it here, they'll still be able to click on the actual assignment, make any changes that they wanna make, close it, and then just say turn in late. So just as you would expect, that workflow is going to look very similar as long as they have that ability to be able to turn in light work. Okay, now we are on a totally different device to test this last part from a student device where we're going to look at the assignment where late work was not allowed. So we're going to click here on the assignment that we're looking at where late work was not allowed that's already past the due date. And we can see that we do not have the option to collect that work back or to undo the turn in, but we can interact with the assignment still. So if we go ahead and we click down here on the document itself, it will open up, but you can tell that there's nothing in here that we can actually do with that assignment except for opening it up in Word. And when we do, we notice that the Word desktop program opens up the document in read-only mode. Now, what that means is I can still interact with this, but the only way I'm gonna be able to do anything with it is to do a save as and save it someplace else and it's not gonna impact that assignment. So let's go ahead and try that just to show what it's gonna look like. I can actually type on this and when I go to save, it's gonna force me to save that back somewhere else. Even if I try to save it as this exact same name, it's gonna tell me that I already have something there and I can try to replace it, so I'll do that. But it's gonna give me this message that the upload failed and I didn't have the necessary permissions to upload that file because I can't save back to it but I can make a copy of that or do a save as, and everything would work out just fine. So as you would expect, when you look at the student side of it, when you've had an assignment that's past the due date that you said you cannot allow, that you will not allow late work, the student can still see their document, they can still interact with their document, they just can't save it in a format that's gonna allow you to see that in the grading panel within Microsoft Teams. So that's, the good news is that it works as you would expect, and now you have a little better idea of how these assignments work. And be sure to watch the next video that's going to be all about OneNote assignments and how you interact with those. We'll have a rubric video coming up in the future as well. Thanks a lot for watching.